It is October 28th, 2015, and you're in the not-so-much FVJ Studios of Stan White. I'm your host. Uh, it is, like I said, we're episode two, uh, October 28th. It's Wednesday night. We just saw, well, I didn't because I was watching baseball. Let's go, Mets. Let's go, Mets. Let's go, Mets. Uh... I was watching baseball, but everybody else was watching Steph Curry drop 40, 7, and 6 uh, in the night that they got huge rigs. So congrats to the MVP and congrats to me for um, taking early lead 5-3. Um, so probably just not really going to worry about too much as far as uh, dealing with moves and roster adjustments this week. It's a short week. We're starting off midweek. Don't get cute. Um, so that's like one of my, mm, I would say huge sticking points. Don't get cute so early on because it's not really worth it to make a bunch of changes and you don't know what the hell's going on with the league yet. We just started, uh, tonight's the first full night of action. You should have a full lineup going. If not, take a look at it right now. Put down your keyboard, mouse, whatever, like take a look at your lineup because you need to do it daily. That's the point. For those of you who play daily, um, FanDuel, DraftKings, all that crap, this league, this is not for you. Um, we specialize in year-round real fantasy analysis. Uh, not the daily leagues where you get paid out the next morning. I don't care about that. I'll probably never do it. Shouts to you who do. Make it rain for me. Um, so if you want to get in touch with us as far as more specific questions, um, standoutwhite87 at gmail. Real White Dude Instagram, um, Stan White 87 Twitter, and, and just Stan White on the Facebook. Um, we're always looking for, you know, questions, what have you. Try to get some more viewers too. So if you don't play fantasy basketball, that's fine. And you come across this. If you know people who play fantasy basketball, the real one, not the DraftKings or FanDuel or whatever. And if you want advice on that, um, we can look into it for you. Also, we can um, reference with ESPN because I know they have some great tools with DraftKings and FanDuel as well. Um, right now, we're focused on season-long, season-long leagues um, that focus on week-to-week, head-to-head matchups. Um, so I mentioned Steph, 47-6. and six. Nikola, 19, with several three-pointers made. Um and Paul Millsap had 19 and 8 as well. So, good night. High efficiency out of three players. I'll take it. Um, blocks is a category that I have, and I have none, while my opponent has six. So, that's why the three categories is ahead in, and um, will probably lead the league overall in three pointers made, and also in points, um, also in free throw percentage. Uh, so that's this is a little bit different than what we're used to, where it was more niche categories. Um, this year, this time around, it's going to be your traditional field goal percentage, uh, free throw percentage, blocks, assists, rebounds. Um, your your more traditional counting stats. Uh, but the great thing about that is you can take an analytical approach to that and actually run some train. Um, I got a trade proposal yesterday that we immediately declined because, like I said, we want to wait for the first week to go through. Then we'll go. Uh, we'll make sure that we know what we're, we got going forward. Uh, injuries happen a lot, and you know, it's the association. So, the dude might go out, drop a triple double, and get arrested for crack cocaine the next day. You just don't know. It's the association. It's uh, I'm not here to judge. I just want my guys on the court. Um, it was Ty Lawson for Mike Conley. The guy has uh, Lawson, I have Conley. Now, as we mentioned, don't want Conley really. Also don't want a dude who might be in jail the next day for another DUI. Shouts to you, Ty Lawson. I hope you cleaned up. Go talk to my man, Johnny Football. <laughs> uh, long story short, though, not really too willing to get involved with a guy who is a risk for off-court trouble. Uh, as much as I don't like Mike Conley, he is still probably rated higher than Ty Lawson, given the fact that he is the lead guard in Memphis and Ty Lawson is not. 
So I declined to trade and I'm willing to look into it, but I want to see what Ty does. If he's going to split time at the one with Patrick Beverly, Beverly if he's uh, going to be able to share the ball with the beard. I have no idea. Someone like uh, Conley, whose role is a, lot, a lot more defined as lead guard, so it's a guy who gets them in, gets the Grizz into their offense with Zebo and Gasol. Um, he is a part of their big three, so we're going to stick with that. Uh, we're at five and a half again. <sighs> Trying to get these short guys, I'm sorry. Uh, full lamp tonight, like I said, and uh, let's go Sixers. Take Adelphia.